Live from ISC West, I'm in the Mircom group and I'm joined by Alan. How are you doing today? Doing great, buddy. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Fantastic, Good. even. I saw you have a new uh, intercom that is coming soon. Jeremy, we do. We actually are introducing here at ISC our new TX10 product. The TX10 is working on the same platform as our TX3. TX3 has been a very reliable product to a lot of clients and customers throughout the U.S. and in the Canadian market. Our TX10 kind of brings some new technology, for us at least, to the marketplace. We can have it operate as a standalone system where you have everything built in, built-in reader here, your credential here, you simply press it, credential shows up on the system. We've got it access tonight right now just to show some of the functionality of it. For the easy part of it, if you knew the person's name, you could come up, you simply scroll, find the name, you press. Once the button's pressed, you then would have the dial, you press the button, dials in, the phone activates. The phone activates, you either simply have a video with a camera that's positioned here, the camera will show the video here, you look and you can make a decision mm -hmm. if access is allowed or denied. You then would press probably access, hopefully it's somebody you like and you want to be around. <laughs> the technology we use in this is our 26-bit, 32-bit, 37-bit readers. A lot of clients with the property managers or the firearm security companies integrators, they want to have cloud products now. It's a big thing in the industry, as you yes. know. So when they do that, they would put the gateway in. The gateway gives them that flexibility to actually manage and operate the system through configuration software, either on site or remotely, so it saves their time of having to go to the site. So this platform is accessible, I guess, for the property managers, the installers, they can all access to it and add and remove products from this platform. You absolutely are correct. So if it, for example, the, the scenario I like to give, if this was in an apartment building and somebody moved out, I could simply go in as a property manager and make the deletion and make the addition. Or if I was remote and wanted to have a program where I helped the client, I could dial in and make those ads and deletions. Very nice. And again, and so here I see entry code too. So you scan with your badge. My guess is you can also have an entry code to enter your building. Absolutely. You could actually press the entry code button here and then you could push a bunch of five digit code in. I've got this one loaded. And what it would actually do is you press open and your door would open. So you got some flexibility in the system, not only through the technology, but also simplicity of somebody walking up with a passcode to get into it. And talking about technology, so uh, I saw when I click on entry code, I also see that you can scan a QR code on you there. You can absolutely do that. You would do that when you have the gateway. You would have the QR code on your phone through our My Entry app or the My Connect app. So again, easy to use, nice user interface, and yeah, I'm pretty sure your clients love this. I think it's a slick product that people will enjoy, and the good news is, we made it forwards, backwards compatible with our legacy good TX3. That's a big thing to the property managers and the installation companies. So <laughs> the Miracom brand, you know, we bring many things to market. We're not just a access control company, we're also a firearms control panel. So we, we reintroduced our Secutron panel brand, I would say, to the marketplace. Miracom is the mother brand, Secutron's the sister brand. And basically what we did, we created a panel that has 240 points of addressability that all operates off the SLC bus. The cool part for the install, installing companies, for the integrators, we make all of our own addressable devices. So this is Maricom made, smoke okay. detectors, modules, our pull stations, our horn strobes. All that's internally made in our plants in Canada. We don't outsource, it's all done inside of our buildings. When punditry we might, from the technology of being able to program, we have software the guys can dump into it, configure, or they can actually program here on the front of the display. So easy access to program for the contractors and wire in the field. Yeah, I guess it makes it pretty easy when you can get all your solution to a single manufacturer, right? You're absolutely true. And what happens, a lot of those guys out there that do this type of product in Fire Alarm, they have to normally third party something, which is okay. We did that and we still do that. But what we've decided to do is bring it in house. We own the intellectual property to make it better and we drive the solutions for our products. And now, again, I see it coming soon here. So tell me more about this product. So this is our low frequency sounder base. One of the things that's driven by NFPA over the past seven to eight years and codes of the industry is having a low frequency sounder base. We created ours, we're just in the final phases of getting the UL stamp. Once that happens, we'll have a complete system to offer somebody in probably the next 30 to 60 days. But that's a code driven device and that's why it says coming soon. <laughs> well, Alan, honestly, thank you. I'm make sure I'll drive some people to your boot. I love your solution. And do you have any shout outs you would like to give? Where can we find Miracom? How can we contact you guys? The best way to find us is to go to www.miracom.com or you can go to www.secutron.com. And Jeremy, thank you for stopping by the booth and well, giving me the you. chance to talk. Thank <laughs> you very much. Have a nice much. show. Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs>